Hey guys, welcome back to Hacknet. We are Hacks or Elite Skills and we have been contacted by Bit. Who is Bit? We don't really know. He seems to be, or she seems to be, let's not get sexist here, some sort of hacker who's got themselves mixed up in something and their fail, self, fail safe system has got hold of us. Which, you know, is great. Uh, we've gone around done a few things, including making our own computer safe. There was a trace network, a trace program put down on there, and we managed to disable that. And now we've received our email for our first proper mission. Congratulations! I honestly have no way of knowing if you succeeded in this responder. In this responder. But if you're seeing this, it means you at least found something. I'm going to assume it's something really useful. You should try breaking one of my old test servers. He has a test server? If Viper had the sort of thing he's known for getting lying around, you should have everything you need to get in. Well, yeah, probably. Remember, any, no, any non-basic programs, you need to get a port number to run, like this. Oh, you know what? That's useful. I know he doesn't know what we got, but we got that file, so that's good. SSH crack 22. Oh, that's the port number, of course. Just find a port you want to crack and run it on that. I think we should be able to do. Oh, and in case you didn't know already, you can hit the tab to autocomplete. Oh, that's going to be useful. Hitting SSH and then tab should autocomplete the full name. Oh, yeah. Security basics guide. Let's have a look at that. Let's open that up. Security basics. Use probe to see what ports are open. Target one with the program and target the correct port. Uh, I.e. this thing here. Okay, so let's go to the bitwise test. This one over here. Hey, how's it going over here, buddy? I, I hope you're doing well. We're going we're gonna to do a quick probe. Yeah, we're going to click on that. Uh, and I'm assuming... No, this is quite an assumption. But as it is the SSH crack, that we we do it on the SSH port. It's kind of kind of got to be, right? SSH autocomplete 22. Ba -bom! And then we get this little, I don't know, Excel spreadsheet here trying to, trying to do some stuff. I'm not sure. It's displaying a green picture. Hey, it displayed a green picture. That, that is definitely what we wanted there. Okay, so once we've done that, we should be able to do our good old port hack. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Maybe this is like supposed to like uh, represent the Illuminati with all the triangles and stuff like that. I'm not sure. But we found the password and we are now administrator. So the first thing I want to do is a probe because we need to find other machines, right? Not probe. Uh, no, probe was how we did the... I need to do a scan. Sorry. My bad. My bad. The scan is complete and it did not find anything. It does not appear to have found anything. No, no nothing was found there at all. That is unfortunate. Super unfortunate. Okay, let's... Uh, what were we going to do here? So we've cracked in here. Was there anything else we need to do other than crack? Let's, let's have a look. Uh, no, it just wants us to crack it in. That, that's fine. So what we're going to do... Hang about. Let's get back over here. Let's have a look through the file system. Let's see what's going on here. We've got the home autolog reports. Oh, maybe we want to delete these. Uh, Testfile.tech. Hey, congratulations. You won. We, we've won. Oh, what? Well, that's it. Done with the game. Thanks, guys. Nah, nah. I suppose we'll do it. Hobbs Terminal Guide. Uh, wow. Handy list of commands. Now, I'm fairly sure help does it. Yeah, but fork bomb is not specified, but it's a useful panic button if you need to down a system in a hurry. You need admin rights. Yeah, you can fork bomb your own system as a defensive measure. What happens if we do it here? It's not specified, but it's a very useful panic button if you want to down your system. We could, we could, we could probably get. I mean, I was going to go delete all the logs and stuff because you know we need to come in here. We go, oh, and that this is actually the last thing we want to do. We want to come into this home. We found this auto log report. We want to delete that as well, right? We, we want that gone because it's going to auto log stuff, right? I've just realised that even though we've done all this, I want to go have a look in the bin and sys files. So maybe we'll need to come back and delete some stuff again. Empty, empty. All right, maybe not. And nothing got put into the log because of that. I'm gonna uh, DC and disconnect. All right, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this and close it down. Bye. Oh, we could add our own notes. Maybe we should um uh, like experiment with that at some point. Okay, so we've done all this. We're gonna reply. Uh, Found winning file deleted logs and backups. Okay, yeah, there we go. Add that, send it. Nice, oh yeah. Rolling on. We are like hacksaw extraordinaire. Well, as it says, hacksaw leak skills, you know. Something in return. Nice work. Cheers, buddy. Well, here's where it's going to start getting harder. Oh, I love it hard. I need to ask a favor. I've been a little sloppy lately, which is, which is what got me into this whole mess. 
It's why I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, the point is, there's some logs on a few computers that I prefer weren't there. You should remember this. If you forget everything else I tell you, don't get sloppy. Delete your logs. Well, luckily, I know to do this already. If you haven't been, start now. I have been, don't worry. Everything you do on any modern OS is tracked and logged in the log folder. Just go there and RM bomb the whole thing. Never forget that. Thanks. Good luck. Okay, so here's the request details. Delete the files. Uh, delete all files in the target's computer's log file. The command RM. Yeah, yeah, we know that. So we want to go here. Okay, are we, are we ready for our first serious mission? I think we are. Mr. P. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. I think it's good to probe. Let's probe it. Let's see what ports we got. We have, of course, got the SSH crack for the 22, or the probe for the SSH, SSH port. Uh, we're going to crack it in operation. Turn it green board. We want a green board here, I'm assuming. There we go. Green board is a lovely. Uh, so once we've got that, we're going to capital P port hack. Yeah, look at that. And that should give us our administration rights. I hope. Anyway, I like. Uh, and then the next thing we want to do is scan. We're going to have a scan on standby just so we know password found you are now the administrator. Scanning. Scan complete. There's, none of these places are hooked up to anything other than my own computer. What is, who who has these PCs that are connected to the internet without going anywhere? No, not even an ISP. What 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 is this? It's crazy. Okay, anyway, they just want us to go into the log files and delete. So I'm just going to have a quick look through, see if there's anything we want here. Documents, laptop police report. Okay, police number, claim number. That eh, that's not quite what I'm after. Chat log, hot rice. Are you guys ready to stream? That depends. Are you ready to die? Oh, lol. Shut up, Johnson. Don't make me get the peanut butter and microchips. Well, you know, whatever whatever you guys do. Uh, that was a good one. It was one goddamn time, sorry. Uh, one time is all it takes. Where is Hellifrant? Anyone heard from him? No one really knows where he is. A mysterious magical beast who just appears when you least expect it. Seriously, our stream schedule is messed up. Every time I hop on, it's not what I expect. This schedule is a mess of guesswork and broken dreams. Broken dreams! It's kind of like my, um, my streaming schedule. Okay, chat log, uh, laptop. We want to know more about this laptop. Uh, convention insurance won't cover claims rights, etc. Personal insurance not declared prior to incident. Need to declare valuables before they were stolen? Question mark. Can investigate? Can't cover. So this guy's had his laptop stolen. Shocker. Tax return. Oh, oh can't do it. can't do anything like that. What does he do for work? Report email draft. Nothing conclusive. Got leave. Laptop was stolen at a convention. Contained the dossier reports. Uh, had copied the most likely one over here. Was sure I had. We'll submit details when we find soon. So let's go have a look in the logs. Uh, where are we? We're, we're this guy, right? So these people, this is the stuff we're actually being hired to get rid of. Look, the dossier needs to disappear. Anything in bin and sis? No. Okay, so uh, log RM. Oh, if we could just type the right buttons, I will be... Type the right buttons, the right keys, right alphanumerics. I'm not sure how we want to do that, but as long as I can type the right ones, we will get there. I assume. I, I normally get there eventually if I type the right stuff. I, th I think. Oh, that's that's all we were hired for, right? That that is literally all we're hired for. Nothing else is being written down, so I'm going to marvel my way around. Okay, let's get rid of that and let's go back here. Something in return. Uh, reply. Dossi, dossi, dossier, dossi, dossier. Files on you have been <laughs> removed. Oh, I can type well. Oh, I can't. I can't actually. Oh, on you have. Okay, I found a bug, guys. You seen this bug? Ah, oh, it's down here. I'm looking on the bottom, bottom right. You can see my cursor moving, but up where my mouse is. So down here. Let me show this again. Cursor moves. That's why I suddenly started deleting halfway in between, even though it showed me the dot dot. Uh, files on you have been removed. Uh, let's ju let's just go with that. Add. I was going to threaten him, but that's probably not a good idea, all right? You don't want to you don't want to threaten the person who's teaching you how to hack. I mean, that's that's just silly, guys. Where to from here? All right. If you see this, you've done well, and well, that's my that's that might actually be worth something. Oh, I hope so. Can I have some loot, some money? Is that too much to hope for? It seems like a lot to hope for. I've realised that I just don't have the time to write this whole thing. There's way too much to learn and I don't have time to do any of it. So I'm going to need to ask something more. There's a group that goes by Entropy. The uh, trend of disorder in the universe. This is uh, 
It's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach you more. And when you're ready, I'll contact you again. But you're dead. What? As for getting into, champ into entropy, you need to bypass a proxy server. A few shells open using the shell command running on, on the computers you've already got admin access on should be able to overload it. Good luck. Okay, thanks. I almost forgot. If you run into trouble, I've linked the network education archive server too. There's a lot of useful information on it. Okay, so we're supposed to do this place. Oh, look. Wait, let's go Let's go back to ours. Let's go back to our uh, view file system uh, in my home. This guy that we copied this across. Is this it? 199559149. One, nine, okay, cool. Need something about overloading it maybe. Got to research it more. Maybe there's a program that will help. Will ask for more money. Uh, so he was using FTP bounce, right? But we don't we don't know how to do that. Uh, okay, so with that in mind, shall we delete this file? We don't need it anymore, right? R M A S D F dot text. Yeah, because this is what you've come here for is for me typing. Okay, that that that's it. Notes dot text. Nothing has been added to my notes. I presume I could uh, add note and go. Uh, is this here? We're just gonna gonna see what happens if we do this. Is this here? It is. Okay. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So we need to go around and make some shells on the computers we've already taken over. This is the entropy test server. So let's try. Well, let's start with the Va Viper Battle Station. Right. Okay. Uh, so we are already administrator. So we do the shell command. What does that do? Okay, yeah, okay. Overload, trap, close. Overload? What, what, how, how are we overloading? Trap? No, close. Overload. I'm not sure what the overload is. I probably just closed something that I didn't mean to. Okay, let's go to the educational network. Uh, there I was searching down below. Uh, I've not actually added it here. Okay, cool. Let's click on that and see what we can do. All right, nice. Proxy servers, .exe, shells. Shells are what we want. Shells are compact, low, low memory, remote processing running on separate machines that can be controlled locally from any connection. These incredibly convenient processes are useful for many tasks, though what they are capable of is determined by the type of shell being run. Common functions across networks include overload, designed to test networks and proxy servers. This functionality floods the target machine with junk network traffic from, no from the node running the shell, firing up proxy server memory and soaking CPU time, filling up a proxy memory. Uh, a trap, a shell running this mode will notify the running, the running user when a foreign user connects to the machine running the shells, allowing an emergency fork bomb flood to be executed on all other users connected to it remotely. This can be incredibly useful in maintaining security of a remote networked computer while doing other work. Ooh. Ooh. Well, anyway, so I think, I think we know what we need to do here. I'm going to go around on the places I've got, like this one. Um, oh, hey, you know, you know what we do need to do over here? Look at this. <laughs> RM. I mean, if we do this, does the shell stay running? It does. It does. That's nice. Okay, so let's do a shell. Hopefully everything's... Yeah, look at that. It's running up there. And if we go into the logs, we then go RM uh, start. Get rid of all that. Okay, how many do you reckon we're going to have to do? I'm not actually sure. So we've done Banish and we've done Viper. Let's do the test one, uh, the test PC. Uh, let's do a shell. A three would do? I'm not, I'm not sure. I am not sure. View logs. RM star. Uh, so I've got those. Have we done this one before? That's the Entropy Asset Cache. No, there's the Ad Entropy Test Server. Uh, the Network Education. Can I... I can't hack this place. Shell. Administrator access required to run. Uh, Nmap. No, can't do any of those. All right, we're, we're, we're going to leave that, that well alone. So th there is ways of getting in around the back doors and stuff. That That's fine. Let's let's use Mr. Anderson's place, shall we? Shell, uh, logs, RM star. Okay, with all these running, let's go to the entropy test server. And we're going to overload, 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 overload. Is that is that what we want to do? No, is that not how it works? Uh, am I going to have to go off and learn how to do this stuff? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe we can... Mm, 
I don't know, probe the system? Let's see what's going on. It does have the stuff we needed. Prox po proxy has been bypassed. So let, let's do the SSH crack and see if we can actually get in here. I, I don't know what, what's going to happen with this. I, I thought hitting the overloads would work here, but it's obviously not the thing that would happen. Okay, so we're in there. So we want to do a port hack if we can. Let's get myself some passwords going up. We have got the... So I, I like this open ports required for a crack. You know, that's, that's a nice thing to tell us what is going on. I mean, what happens if I overload now? No view logs. I'm not sure how we're supposed to over... Entropy introduction test. Uh, congratulations. Download this file to complete your induction test. Ent Entropy will contact you shortly. Okay, so I think what's happened, given the bits that we have, bits of information that we've picked up, is when I hit all of these, we overloaded the proxy firewall thing. Can we can we find any information for that? Let's let's have a look. This is where we were deleting stuff. Connection to their probe, and then we found all the open stuff. Okay, so it doesn't actually tell us anywhere that we did manage to overload. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, let's... SCP Entropy Induction Test back to, back home. Let, let's get that going. Uh, let's see what else we need to get rid of. Have we got anything in the bin? Please don't. Uh, bits, please read. Ooh. Do we want to have a look in here? We're going to have a look in here. Bit, if you are lurking, can you please come out of the shadows? I need to talk to you. Vapor will not get off my case saying something's wrong. She's sure something's going on. Let me know. Vapor. How are we going to find that out? And T is the one saying, okay. Uh, so, Gold, are you tired of quests that take up all your time? Do you wish that you could spend a long, happy life without worrying money for mounts? Uh, then look no further with the So Gold, the ultimate farming service for Stormwind Online players. For a, for, uh, for a small fee, we will take care of your account and ensure that you have enough gold to buy all of the items you could ever want. All we need is a down payment of 30 US dollars. Wow. Uh, your Stormwind Online account details and we'll get you more gold than you can ever imagine. Man, that seems taxi. Seems taxi. Uh, let's see. Uh, these are all dot .techs. I'm not. I'm really not interested. That means I'm pretty pissed at you, Slagger Fire. The Chinese contingency have been hammering at the servers all night requesting gold. Lol. So there's a lot of um, gold thingies here. No one ever remembers to clear out the bin folder too. This is a test server scrubs. It's designed for people to break in, at least tidy up. Uh, so I'm not seeing any... Any EXEs need help? If you are here, chances are you know a thing or two about getting into places you don't belong. Those idiots over the Stormwind have a totally ruined the balance of Shades and Three with the latest auction house patch. It's been super fun. Uh, I've been a super fan since the original Shades and was released in '96, and I say we stick it to them, bring the auction house down. If you want to, leave a leave a text file in here, and you'll. F oh man. Maybe we'll come back to this. Maybe we'll come back. Remember that there is things to do here. Remember, RM star. Bye bye. Everything's got. I like the way that I'm the the only one that's done anything here. Well, you'd imagine that like everybody else has just deleted stuff. So let's go out. I want to DC. Okay, cool. So if I leave these running, what happens? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. I'm gonna leave my botnet up and running. Let's see what happens. Confirmation mission. Hey, hey, greetings, greetings, hacksaw lead skills. Why, thank you. Uh, let me be the first to congratulate you on locating and passing the entropy group ex entrance exam. While an experienced hacker is relatively, uh, while to an experienced hacker there is a relatively trivial task, surprisingly few actually seem to manage it. Before we'll be able to allow you to officially join the group, we must further confirm your abilities. A tabloid news server has recently taken negative stance towards entropy, and we'd like you to temporarily disable their operation. As a second test of your skill, we ask that you bring down this, this server's message board. Oh, th that server, okay. If you can, leave the non-entropy related articles and the rest of the server intact. We do not wish to be needlessly destructive. This is not a request simply to wipe the server clean of articles, we just want that program brought down. Okay, I think we can do that, but it is going to have to happen next time as I have a fast run out of time. I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this hacking adventure. I will see you next time, as I say, when we're going to go get the Slashbot News Network. SBNN. I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!